The further I got into its deep magic and skill systems, the more I Am Setsuna felt like its own game and less like the shameless aping of classic 90s JRPGs it appears to be at first glance. And the more I got to know its cast of intriguing characters, all of whom have secrets to discover, the less I was bothered by the balance issues that came dangerously close to trivializing its otherwise enjoyable combat. Ultimately, I Am Setsuna pulls through on the strength of its well-established tone and a well-told story. <laughs> Setsuna's greatest strength by far is its steadfast commitment to the somber tone it establishes right from the outset. This is a tragic tale of a fractured world filled with people who vainly struggle against the rising tide of danger, and nearly every creative choice properly reflects this. The gorgeous and melancholic all-piano soundtrack, the muted colors, and the relentless emptiness of the overworld all work in harmonious service to the themes of sacrifice, regret, and hope in the face of cyclical, unending conflict. The other edge of that sword is a sort of monotony that detracts ever so slightly from the overall sense of adventure. The overworld is just an endless expanse of snowy fields with little to do, and it's dotted with rickety old towns made up of a mere handful of homes that look like they were all furnished out of the same catalog. It works for what Setsuna is, but I sadly never felt a sense of anticipation over what might be waiting through the next cave entrance because I already knew. Setsuna makes up for this lack of variety with its magic and skill systems, which provide a wealth of options for party customization. <laughs> Though each character has their own distinct active skills, passive ones can be assigned to anyone, and each skill can be modified by slotting them in talismans that add various effects and stat boosts over time as you use them more often. I had a great time figuring out new, crafty combinations of party members and abilities to annihilate groups of enemies with. It let me get a little too powerful too easily, though. From an early point, I was able to identify skills that with just a little tweaking let me basically one-shot entire encounters. By sticking to these strategies, I was able to blow through Setsuna in around 20 hours, only dying once or twice on one particularly tough boss. Instead of balancing those abilities out, there's a unique system that changes item drops based on the types of attacks you use to defeat an enemy, to give you an incentive to use other, less expedient tactics. The turn-based battles are far more interesting when played with that in mind, but it doesn't change the fact that even in the final areas, I felt like I was on a farming run. This robbed combat of much of its fun, but it didn't dampen the emotional impact of I Am Setsuna's heartfelt message. For more on I Am Setsuna, stick with IGN.